So I'm going to do this one here. Um, let f and g be the functions defined by um, this and that. Let r and s be the two regions enclosed by the graphs of f and g shown in the figure above. First, we're going to find the sum of the areas of regions r and s. Now, guys, you're going to have to do either top minus bottom or right minus left. If you can avoid right minus left, um, that's good because that would involve solving for x. Yeah, and if you look at both of these functions, you can't really solve for x in either of them. So, so yeah. So, it's because the top and the bottom switch, um, I'm going to label them f and g. So, all right, so first I, I graph them here. You know, I type them in. And then, um, so you want to be, this is a guide video, so you want to be pausing and trying to go ahead yourself um, as much as you can. So when I graph this, that's what it looks like, all right? Um, the red one is the um, quartic, that's a, to the fourth polynomial, and then the, the blue one is the one with E in it. So I go back here. So the red one is, no, 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 the blue one is F. And the blue one is first the bottom, and then here it's the top. And then G is, is that one. Okay. Now, so the bottom and the top switch at this intersection point. So we need to find it um, so that we know like how to split up the, the integrals. If you want, guys, this is a nice thing. It's like zoom, zoom box. You don't have to do that, but I, I always like it. Gives you a clearer picture. All right, I'm gonna label this A, B. And I'm just gonna store A, I'm probably not gonna need B. If I do need B, I'll just plug it into either F and, I'll plug A into either F, and, F or G to get it. So I go second tray intersect. Enter three times. Okay, so this is, so that's X. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to store it. So I hit X. I store it. I'll store it as A. And then I'm going to write down here for my reader that um, I'm letting capital A be 1.03283188. Eight, eight, eight. 1.0328. Okay. Mm. And then I will do the integrals. So for this first region, you do like a little vertical line. The top function is G, the bottom function is F. And it, it stays the same on this whole region R. And this region R goes from 0 to A. So here G is on top and F is on the bottom, plus. Now for this region, I'm gonna pick back up at A, and I'm gonna go all the way to the end of the region, which has an X value of two, and this time, when you do like the top minus bottom, F is the top function. So it's gonna be F of X minus G of X. Okay, remember to pause the video and try it yourself, guys, as much as possible. So, I'm going to uh, type this in. This is a lot of typing, this problem. So, I go math 9, and then I go from 0 to A. Uh, G of X is X to the 4th minus... 6x squared plus 6x plus 2. And I'm typing very carefully. Minus, I need parentheses around f. 1 plus x plus e to the x squared minus 2x. All up in the exponent, close parentheses, dx. 
Now, to that, I'm going to add the second integral. So I'm, I do plus and then math 9 again, starting at A, going to 2, and then this time F is first. So 1 plus X plus Make sure to hit the right arrow to get out of the exponent. Minus, and then you need parentheses around the whole thing. X to the four. Okay, the X. Enter. 2.18. Eight. That's not what I got the first time. Oh, shoot. What is A? 1.0328. I go from 0 to A. That's not what I should have gotten. Oh, shoot, because this is a 6.5x squared. Whoopsie. Mm. Shoot. Oh, yeah, you got to be so careful when you're typing. Right there, that should be 6.5. So the way you can put in, so I don't have to type the whole thing over, I can, right above delete is insert. So I can go second delete, and that will let me insert a point. Ah, shoot, it went in front. So I go over that, now I'll hit delete. So if I'm in front of the x squared, so if you do the insert, it'll insert it in front. So insert point five. Yeah. Okay, please work. Yes, 2.004. 2.004. Okay, now for part B. Region S is the base of a solid whose cross sections perpendicular to the X axis are squares. Find the volume of the solid. All right, so we're looking at this region S here. And then, like, I'll use a different color. And then coming up out of region S, I don't know how to do like 3D, but we've got these, um, these squares that are coming up out of region S and forming a, a solid. So this is a volume situation. So you've got to write down volume equals the integral. Since the, since the cross sections are cut vertically, we're doing everything in terms of x. So this is going to go from a to 2. And then this a stands for area. Um, I'm going to put the area of um, the squares in. And the area of a square is just, it's base times height, but the base and height are the same, so it's just base squared. And the way that you get this base is by doing top minus bottom. The top is f of x minus g of x. So this is the integral from a to 2. And then I could say f of x minus g of x, but I got to square it. Oh, okay, this is a lot of typing. So, um, all right. So, I, I'll just start from scratch. So, I'm going to go math, math 9, from a to 2, and then parentheses. I got to square this whole thing. So f is first. 1 plus x plus e to the x squared minus 2x minus parentheses x to the fourth minus 6.5x squared. Plus 6x plus 2. Close those parentheses, double parentheses, square it. Px. 
Yep, that's what I should have gotten. 1.283. Okay, now part C. Let H be the vertical distance between the graphs F and G in region S. Right here. Find the rate at which H changes with respect to X when X equals 1.8. So guys, we already actually drew, like right here, this, this line here, this would represent the vertical distance between F and G. Any, any vertical line would. And so to find that distance, you would just do top minus bottom. Um, and the, the rate at which X changes, or H changes with respect to X, when X is 1.8, they want H prime of 1.8. That's what they want. Okay, so let me re first represent h. So h of x is top minus bottom. For that region, the top is f of x minus the bottom is g of x. Okay, so h of x equals 1 plus x plus e to the x squared minus 2x minus x to the fourth minus 6.5x squared plus 6x plus 2. Now, guys, the beautiful thing, you can just use math 8 for this. All right, so let me say math 8. So I want h prime of 1.8. Now we have not done this a lot, um, but Math 8 is very useful. Okay, so Math 8. So DDX. Now in here I'm going to put this whole thing. And you can distribute the negative if, if you want to. But this is 1 plus X plus Minus x to the fourth minus. Okay. And then evaluated at one point eight. Negative three point eight one two. Okay, there it is.